Hello, here we are in uh, Nice, France, looking at the Mediterranean and all the chairs and tables and umbrellas out for breakfast on the beach for some people. The beach is a pebbly beach. There's a bit of sand underneath it, underneath the pebbles. And uh, there's a very wide promenade, great for running. But the running will be on the road today. It's been closed for this and there's some pre-race entertainment for the 20th anniversary of the Nice Half Marathon International, International Half Marathon. So uh, started in 1991. Surprisingly, not earlier than that. Here, the official shop, the boutique officiel. Uh, just to look at some of the products that real runners have, like heart rate monitors and uh, you know, pads, perhaps for some padding for this, maybe for their special sports socks. That's protein bars, powders, performance enhancers, special sunglasses, whatever. All sorts of possibilities there. Now, then we have an area where you can take a photo. We got some pre race photos. Very happy young ladies getting their photos together and kindly taken by this gentleman. Yes. Here's an area a little bit further in from that, a lot of tents for official paperwork and completion, medical certificates, etc. Last minute checks, getting your number for your, uh, for your singlet, and there's a woman with a great hair colour, wow. Um, the kids have a two kilometre, mar uh, two kilometre race in America, before the main race, and uh, that's really cool and one of the steward motorbikes. So this is close to the start of the actual part of the race now. A kilometre further along the promenade, the street promenade as such, the driving part, is uh, on the corner of Boulevard de Gambetta and Promenade des Anglais, English promenade, is Jimmy's band. And if you watch now, he will wave his arms in a moment as he directs the man in black. Here we go. That's it. He's definitely the arranger and organiser of this uh, mighty band with their amazing jackets and hats and uh, wigs. And uh, the athletes will shortly be coming around this corner from right to left, past the band. This man, looking quite serious, with a white t-shirt, is checking everybody to make sure the place is clear. No obstructions, nobody in the way. Clear the path. There's just going to be some fast runners coming around this corner very shortly. Uh, there goes a runner that's not in the race. We've got the sea off to the right. Perfect day for running around 18, 19 degrees C. These people casually crossing the road with their dog. Small dogs in Nice are many and there's a lot of dog poo not picked up. Here we go. The race is away and after those two rollerbladers, 13 African runners. Very fast. Great runners. And the first white runner, there he goes, behind them. And then from we get another two all, all up I think with these two and then another five. These three and another There'll be about 20 runners. The first 20 runners have streaked ahead of the field. There they go. It's quite a gap there. There we go. There there's, then it starts to bunch a little bit more. And you'll see the runners coming from the right. We've taken a wider path to get around the group. And uh, some of them will continue to do that as the crowd gets bigger and bigger. About 5,000 runners in this race. There's a three hour cutoff point. Ten, a 10 kilometer or a 21, whichever you choose, or if you need to, pull out sooner. Stop. Here the steward is pulling someone out of the way, wisely, who's really not aware of uh, quite how uh, many runners are going to be coming around that corner shortly, in one lump, one group. Mizuno on the back of the t-shirt, one of the major sponsors, maybe a Japanese company, a name like that, you'd think. Uh, Pinocchio Gelateria on the corner, a good Italian name for a gelato shop, an ice cream shop. And 70% of restaurateurs in Nice are Italians, at 440,000 in central Nice. 
uh, about 30 k's from the Italian border, was part of Italy until 1860, it was called Nizza. Uh, and the year after it became part of France, it, uh, Italy had a, a complete unification uh, in 1861 and uh, Garibaldi, who I don't know, maybe he lived in Nice, has a large statue of him, uh, there is a large statue of him in Plus Garibaldi uh, within Nice. Uh, here we go, the runners are progressively getting more and more group as they come around the corner. Jimmy's band keeps powering on and it's just a beautiful full moon day with a nice high tide. The, the Med is very calm, the Mediterranean, very calm and clear. Some fishing boats out there, they often fish at full moon time, there's more fish around. Um, just small boats. You see the footpath on the left there, you might have noticed, but the footpath sidewalk, as the Americans call it, is, uh, is being renovated um, beautifully. Um, and uh, so they've put the barrier up to make sure no one trips over anything. Plenty of space there. Probably 5,000 runners, we don't know. Just a gorgeous day. Sometimes you'll see someone raise their arms above their head. Uh, whether they're just loosening up or acknowledging the band or hoping to get their photo taken or, or just a bit hyperactive, who knows. It's just one of the little anomalies of watching people. The idiosyncrasies of so many athletes, would-be athletes, could-be athletes just active people. Those street lights are flashing red now as don't cross, but they were flashing green at the beginning of the race. Which is quite amusing to me in some small way. This lady on my right, whom I don't know chewing her bottom lip, which could mean that she's not getting good photos with that small digital camera, or she's got something to worry about. It's, there's a man flashing and waving his arms. Happy, happy. Uh, she might have wished she was running. There's something worrying her at that point. How can I get a good photo? with all these people. Hmm. So, and there will be some people in that building who are either not there because it's too noisy or they're having a really good view of proceedings. Good spot. And the crowd is definitely getting slower now as we get towards the back of the group. And there's a good spot to watch. She's just far enough back to be safe. Stewart's not deterred, deter, uh, deterred about that, or not, not troubled. And the last part of this video, I've edited out some of the group runners just to show this particular runner who uh, could be around 75, hard to know. And he uh, definitely has a very slow pace as he'll come around shortly and you'll see that he's probably on about a 10 minute K almost a walk and uh, with a 3 hour cutoff, I don't know how much time he'll cover or how much his body will allow him to cover but uh, he's okay, he's, he's got the motivation which is great and he's, uh, I think he's got a water bottle on his back there as well